Hello patrons, we're in Atlantic City and I thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of backstage. Um, first of all, here is Arthur's outfits, well some of the very many Arthur Brown outfits. Check out that helmet with the old bicycle light on it, goggles, that's his ringmaster hat with a very tall feather. Um, here we have my guitar and the mighty Bumblefoot's guitar there, the double neck. As you can see, one of those is, uh, is all metal, a metal fretless, or as somebody said, one big giant fret. The whole thing is one big giant fret. So we go, let's go down these corridors. Um, down this way is catering. I won't take you there. That's just a load of food. Much more interesting is the stage. Here's Andy. Andy is in charge and responsible for all the amazing visuals <laughs> you see behind us. Who am I talking? Who am I selling hello to? Uh, these are my patrons. Oh, hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and if you've seen any videos of the show, it looks absolutely stunning, and it's all thanks to Andy. <laughs> Uh, right, where's the stage? Very spinal tap. I'm not sure where the stage is. I think stage right. Here we go. Here we go. That's what spinal tap needed. The reason I'm struggling is because I'm enjoying a coffee. Um, let's go and have a look on stage, shall we? So here's the back of the stage. Just going up the back of the stage here. And here is the said video wall. This is Andre. Steve Howe's guitar hey. tech and all round musical master and uh, authority on many subjects. You're very kind. Well, let's hear some audio here too. We've got. We're listening to Kingdom Come with the one and only Arthur Brown. Really? Is Back that right? In well, hello, hello, hello. This is a this this is a video for my patrons. I've I've forgotten your name. Jason. Right? Jason. Jason is playing cello and all manner of things uh, with John Lodge and you sound amazing. Well thank you so much. You sound so amazing. You. Oh well thank you very much. It's just a big love fest It's here. a total big music love fest here. <laughs> <laughs> we need a, I, yeah, we need a big jam. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, that would be amazing. And also Jason is very well read. I've been speaking to him about some great books. In a game of music. I, I, I read the right books. In a game of music, Zen guitar, uh, music lesson, uh, art of practicing. I'll put them all in a list on the uh, on this post, and uh, you should check them out. I'm certainly going to check them out. All right, Back on kids. <laughs> all right, let's check out the rest of the stage. Here is uh, one of Steve Howe's flying guitars. Um, I think it. I'm, I'm, somebody said the other day there's a, a ghost guitarist. That was that is the ghost guitarist here. This is uh, Steve Howe's steel guitar that slides back and forth, forth on that rail. Now, we played the... I'm going to put this coffee down because it's hard to hold. <laughs> we played the cruise a few years ago and uh, it was a particularly choppy sea. And uh, this thing was rolling around the stage on its own and Steve literally had to hold his hand out and the whole thing would just slide and it would slide up and down the thing. And he, he took it in very, very good spirits. This is Steve's rig here. He's using the Line 6 Helix. He's not the only person using the Line 6 Helix. This is Uncle Harry. We know, we know Uncle Harry well. This is a video for patrons. Oh, okay. Live long and prosper. Just trying to accentuate some of my better parts here. No, no, I wasn't going there. <laughs> I was staying up top. Hello, everybody, and goodbye. And this is Steve. I, I, what's your official title, Steve? Uh, everything but. I think, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to narrow down exactly what Steve does. He does most things for most bands. There you go. He's all things to all men. And Today I am being keyboard rigged. I am being keyboard technician. Cool. And this is Jeff Downs' keyboards. How many keyboards have we got there, Steve? Uh, ten plus pedals. Ten plus te pedals. I collect and modules. I and modules. And th three laptops, so you know. So what could go wrong, really? Well, there's always a spare. There's always. 
Yeah, what could go wrong? Um, nothing. I mean, surely. They'd, they'd... And as soon as something goes wrong, you'll know exactly where it is, right? Uh, oh, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, onto my amplifier. We we know and love that well. This is Bumblefoot's amplifier. My rig down here, and uh, oh, and my laptop back there is uh, currently folded down. But um, there we go. Whoa, something crazy is happening to my face. I don't know if you'll see that, but it looks all red and weird. I think I think that's with um, ultraviolet lights. Um, and uh, there's my pedal board. That is one of John Lodge's pedal boards. And here's Bumblefoot's rig. Now Bumblefoot is tap dancing in the extreme. He's got his um, Line 6 Helix down here. Everyone's using the Helix. He's got his uh, Morley Wah in the middle, but he's also got an effects unit for his voice. So you, if you come to a show or see videos of a show, you will see him tapping, tap dancing like there is no tomorrow. Um, very, very impressive. Um, and that's because he's got lots of effects on his voice, such as emulating this megaphone that they use for Video Killed the Radio Star. Can you see that megaphone down the front there? Here we have Carl's drums, of course. We've seen those before. Uh, John Lodge's drums. John Lodge's keyboards. So, in short, oh, and um, Billy Sherwood, his, um, his bass rig there, these are his amplifiers. So in short, a very, very busy stage. And I'm gonna take you over to Steve here, who's the bass tech. His <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. twins over there, also called Steve, who's the keyboard tech. Yep. So yeah, yes. hardest working man in rock and roll. <laughs> Mr. Steve Rispin. Oh, thank you all. I'll speak Hello. to you soon. Bye.